GSLP Liberal leader Fabian Picardo explained the document was divided into four sections. Gibraltar in the world and its role at an international level, the economy, quality of life and healthcare, justice and equality. Taking a pop at the GST, he said it was one that was full of positive ideas and solutions, a program to do and not one of auditing and not doing. This is the only substantive program for government, which is ready to go, ready to roll, ready from the minute that you make us your government again, if we are your choice in the next general election. A manifesto minister will be appointed to ensure commitments are delivered. And Fabian Picardo said these are binding commitments which the party is contractually obligated to fulfill. Circumstances beyond their control, he said, had interfered with the delivery of the programme, but that nevertheless over 60% had been done or was on track. I am saying around Gibraltar that we <coughs> accept that we have not been able to deliver against all of those obligations that we acquired in 2019 because COVID happened and Brexit took a lot of our time. But we're accounting to you, telling you what we have done and what we have not been able to do, explaining why we ask for your understanding because we have been unable to deliver against those manifesto commitments and saying that no other political party in government a is as accountable and transparent in terms of what we have been able to do and b no other government or, or party in government would have been able to do more in the past four years Jose garcia announced planned improved measures on transparency including the implementation of an anti-corruption authority to build on existing legislation the gslp liberals would carry out a consultation exercise on parliamentary reform they're looking at six select committees, including a public bills committee, and also looking into an enlarged parliament at no cost to the taxpayer to include backbenchers. The GSLP Liberals are also looking at the introduction of a deputy speaker. I will intend to conduct a root and branch review of parliament and of democracy in Gibraltar, of the way everything works from the parliamentary system, the standing orders, the electoral system, the constitution, everything. We intend to establish that route and branch review through a select committee of the parliament. We, we have done a lot already to increase transparency, to increase accountability, and to increase democracy in Gibraltar from what, what was the case when you were first elected in 2011. The manifesto will be delivered to all households over next week.